Hey everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Blue Yeti Nano USB microphone. So once we open up the box, we're going to see that it comes in three pieces. Basically have the whole microphone piece in the middle. Uh, this one is painted gold, uh, which is kind of a cool color, but it was the only one available, so that's why I got it. Um, you can see that it is just one big piece for the microphone, and then we also have a USB cable right here. And then we have a adapter where we can attach this to a boom mount uh, that fits right into the bottom of the head of the microphone right there. Uh, you see that screw right there. Uh, let's take a look at this cord though. The cord is going to be USB on one side uh, and micro USB on the other side. Uh, it fits right there, right next to the screw and the headphone jack. Make sure that when you use the headphone jack, you use the one on the microphone. Uh, this uh, volume indicator in the front uh, is for volume and it's also for mute. Uh, I do not recommend using this while you're recording because it does make a sound in the microphone. And in the back you have your settings. You have a cardioid on the left and then you have omni settings on the right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see what it sounds like. I'm going to plug this right into my computer and then I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the interface. Uh, so what I'm going to use is voice recorder uh, app on the computer. This one works pretty well, it's just a standard voice recorder. It only records the microphone, not other things on the computer. I'm also going to open up sound settings and make sure that the sound output is set for the Yeti as well as the sound input. This way, if you're talking to someone, you can hear it through the microphone, uh, but the microphone won't record it. So I'm going to record and you're going to hear me do a little test right here. Okay, this is the cardioid setting and we're going to test it now. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a U.S. military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped a maximum security stockade into the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Alright, now we're in Omni mode. We're going to be testing it one more time. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a U.S. military court. These men promptly escaped a maximum security stockade into the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Alright, when you're done recording, it'll show up in the top left-hand corner. You can right-click that, and uh, it'll go down to Open File Location, and then your file location will open. Now when I first plugged in the blue microphone, it was blinking yellow at me. Uh, it turns out if it blinks yellow, it means that it's having an issue. Uh, you can go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, go into your sound settings, go to Manage Audio Devices, click your Yeti, right click it, go down to Properties, Advanced, and make sure it's on 48,000 Hertz. Uh, it has to be 48,000 Hertz, hit the Apply button, uh, and then now it should switch to green. And when it's green, you know that it is properly working and you should be able to hear your computer audio if your headset is plugged into your blue microphone and the blue microphone will not record your computer audio but will actually just record your voice. So this is very helpful in podcasts and things where you're talking to other people uh, or maybe you're commenting on a video and you don't want to record the video sounds or the other people's sounds with you. Uh, so it's very helpful for editing. Anyway, uh, in terms of audio quality, sorry I was recording in my office, but I would say that the audio quality is pretty high, especially on the cardioid. I was very happy with the low tones that I was picking up through this microphone, and I definitely recommend it. I hope this helped you out in your current and future projects. See you on the next one.